What up guys, welcome to another episode of HyperChange. Today we're doing a quick recap of Tesla's Q1 delivery numbers that they just put out. I think this is by far the most important number to track if you're a Tesla investor or fan. Let's get right into it. Awesome results. Tesla posted deliveries of just over 25,000 units. This is a new all-time record for the company. This is about the third quarter in a row where they're at the 25,000 unit run rate. So I think the quarter before this was about 22 and a half thousand. The quarter before that was about 24,000. But as you can see, the long-term trend is just an incredibly consistent line of growth for Tesla. And this is all coming at the face of the fact that the Model 3 is gonna be delivered later this year. And a lot of analysts and skeptics have been worried that that's pulling back demand for Tesla's cars as people wait for this lower price model to come out. Today, that was totally disproven. Maybe that's happening, but it's not slowing down Tesla's growth. The demand for the Model S and X is huge and it doesn't seem to be slowing down. Both cars are continuing to take market share in their respective categories. All in all, awesome numbers from Tesla. Here's the breakdown. So 13,450 of those 25,000 or a little bit more than half were Model S, about 11,500 were Model X. This is interesting because it's a really big quarter and a record for the Model X by far. I think the previous uh, record for Model X deliveries in a quarter was only about eight or 9,000. Now they're 11 or 12,000 per quarter. So really cool to see the Model X continue to gain market share in that luxury XUV market. Overall, these delivery numbers were up 70% from the same quarter last year. So that's incredible growth. And they haven't actually added a new car to their lineup. Sure, they were production constrained for the Model X in Q1 last year. So you have to account for that. But even so, if you look at the year over year comparison, the growth for Tesla is incredibly impressive. So I put out a, a video at the beginning of the year predicting that Tesla would sell about 110,000 units this year. I think that's looking like a real low ball given they just delivered 25,000 in Q1. We have the Model 3 coming on board. It looks like it's on track. I'm not gonna change my delivery estimate yet because I think it's still a little too early, but I will say that that 110,000 units is looking very conservative right now because I mean, Tesla guided for 47,000 to 50,000 deliveries in the first half of this year, which people thought was really lofty goal considering it was just the S and X. Now with 25,000 delivered already in Q1, it looks like that was conservative and they're gonna beat that. I don't think anybody saw that coming. Tesla always overestimates and tries to give these lofty projections that they never hit. Now they're beating their projections. I think these shorts, if you were a short this stock, I would be really worried because now Tesla isn't just hitting their numbers, they're beating them. Yeah, so that's the delivery recap. I think the chart says it all. You can see the consistent uptrend in sales and orders. The Model 3 coming out this year is not impacting demand yet at all. That's a great sign. Anyway, this is my recap of Tesla deliveries. We also just came out with an incredible Moonshot Monday episode about why we think the Model 3 will sell half a million units per year, if not more, when Tesla fully ramps production in the next 12 months. You should definitely check that out if you haven't already. Anyway, this is HyperChange. See you guys next time. Peace.